Let's review the Rupes Mini Bigfoot iBird, and this is the HLR 75. This is a three inch cordless polisher. Let's talk about it real quick. Now the tool itself is relatively lightweight. The ergonomics are very different on this tool. It has a much longer extended head, which does help to get into recessed areas that you normally could not get into with a standard three inch polisher. It's got some good heft to it. Um, even though I, I, I kind of contradict myself by saying it's lightweight, but it does have enough feel to it to where it's not so lightweight it, that it doesn't feel sturdy. It doesn't feel strong in the hands to where um, if it was too lightweight, it would almost be hard to control um, for someone that polishes with it for hours and hours on ends. It's got two 18 volt lithium ion batteries that you pop in and out and they actually have a battery indicator that you can press on to see where the charge is. I get um, around 30 minutes plus of consistent polishing with a single battery and by the time you charge one battery, the other battery um, is empty so you can swap them out continually with the two batteries that the tool comes with. One of the things that I have kind of noticed is that I am left-handed. Um, so I would prefer to hold it with my left hand, the, the top of the polisher. And I find oftentimes being left-handed that my hand will actually hit the controls for the speed. This isn't a big thing, I can adjust it, but being left-handed, the ergonomics of holding this polisher have been extremely different for me. And if I had one actual complaint about this tool, um, the power is really good, the cutting ability is really good, the adjustable speeds, it's got a, you can lock it up and go to zero to where if you hit the, the power button, it, it doesn't activate. But if I had one actual complaint about this tool is that the power button is extremely touchy. I actually kind of, and this is just my opinion, I wish it either had a harder um, resistance to it to where you had to put more pressure on it to get initially on it or to where it only activated once you completely locked down the trigger and the reason for that is that you can be carrying it around if you put it on your arm or something and it'll activate it it's that like it takes no pressure at all to activate the polisher. Now, the good thing is, is that when you're polishing, it takes almost zero effort to hold down the power button. And I get why you need an instant off power button with a three inch polisher. You, you don't wanna be toggling a switch because um, if you need to let off trigger, you need to let off the trigger. But several times when I first got this tool, I slung polish all over the place by accidentally depressing the power button um, just because it's, it's so little effort to it. So I wish that there was a little bit more resistance on the power button. But other than that, this is a really, really nice tool. I ordered mine from detaillink.com and um, they got it to me really, really fast. As usual, all the Rupes tools come with a nice warranty. You can send it in for their flat rate repair service. And there's all types of pads and accessories. I'm using a Lake Country um, HDO CCS pad. Why? Because I just love these pads. All the pads work really great with it. I have yet to find a pad that did not function really, really well with this polisher. And um, overall, it's a great tool. Now, let's do some polishing with it.